So Louise, congratulations, Magazine of the Year and Women's Fashion. How do you feel? Uh, we're very uh, honoured and thrilled to be uh, considered, yeah, so highly. So yeah, it's a, it's a real, it's a delight. What is it about Frankie, do you think, that resonates so well with the readers? Um, Frankie's always been quite engaged with the readers and I think that is because the content is very genuine and authentic and everybody that works on it, um, the content goes through a kind of a process where if we don't like it or love it, then it shouldn't go in there. So it's a, it's a very strict yeah, editorial process in a sense and I think that um, the outcome is that it becomes very authentic. So it's been quite a challenging mag market for the, this year, for the last few years, but there was a lot of enthusiasm in the room and a lot of positivity. Um, how do you think we changed the narrative with readers, with media buyers, with advertisers? Um, I think it always comes back to the content and I think you need to uh, listen to the readers, but also um, I think, yeah, just be be supremely aware of what you're putting out and not just be happy with a page that you're 50% happy with. That's that's how I think uh, a magazine market will, will change. Maybe if people pay attention, more attention to the, um, the content. And what opportunities in digital are you affording yourself of? Um, we are looking at digital, but again, we are really big um, print supporters and Frankie is a nostalgic title and it is about holding something tangible in your hands and that's really important for us and we're not jumping on, we don't want to be desperate and make bad decisions, we want to consider every avenue with digital, so we'll keep pushing with print and um, and then once we're 100% happy with where we are with print, then we'll look at digital. Um, we've noticed that Frankie's got quite a big social media following, what, what's the key to that? Um, again, honesty, um, being genuine, just putting up things on Facebook that you would put up to your own friends um, and just being relatable, being the reader, I guess, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much Thank and congratulations so much. again. Thank you. Thanks. So, Nicole, we've, um, it's been a challenging market, there's no doubt about that. We've heard a lot of enthusiasm in the room and a lot of, sort of emboldened vision for the future. I mean, where do you think the industry can evolve from that? Look, I think this is an amazing industry because it's centred on building consumer products that people are willing to pay for and brands that they trust and I think that we have to remember that and that's actually what will make us even stronger as, as technology offers us opportunities to build our brands. How do we change the narrative with consumers, with media buyers, with advertisers? Oh, well, we've got to be proud, we've got to believe in what we do which you know we've got to not, not get caught up in all the negativity and ignore it because our products are selling, consumers love it and just keep growing them and believe in them. And um, what do you think digital holds for publishing? Well, I think we're already living a digital age. I mean, we've got so many amazing apps. You know, look at Donna Hay, it's the number one app in this country. And it's, it's added so much dimension to the actual magazine and the brand. And there are so many opportunities to constantly do that and evolve. Digital is not, you know, a technology. It's now a way of life, and that's where consumers are. But the consumers need to talk, engage with content and brands that they love. And that's what we are the custodians of. Fantastic. Thank you for your time. No problem.